Hello drummers of the internet. You see before you a pair of Vic Firth Buddy Rich model drumsticks. If you're a fan of Buddy Rich and maybe noticed in the videos from his later years the unique shape of his drumsticks, you might think to yourself that he was playing with the Vic Firth sticks you can buy today. Well, let me introduce you to the Ludwig 15A Buddy Rich model drumstick. This is the stick that he was using back in the day. These were introduced back in the 1980s, and I immediately, as, a, as an ardent Buddy Rich fan, went out and bought several pairs. Here's what they look like next to one another. Now, immediately you can see that they are not, in fact, uh, identical. The taper is different. The tapers start at a different location, and the, uh, and the tips are differently shaped. The original has a more elongated tip, and it's kind of pointy at the end, whereas the Vic Firth is rounder and more squat. If we measure them, uh, we'll see that the, the Ludwig stick is around 14 millimeters in diameter. Also see that uh, they're not exactly the same. Uh, just across several of my sticks, they, there's, there's some variance. Uh, and if we look at the Vic Firth stick, though, it's not 14 millimeters in diameter, it's uh, very near 15 millimeters in diameter. The, uh, there's a bit of variation in the Vic Firth sticks as well, but what's a tenth of a millimeter between friends? Uh, as far as overall length goes, the Ludwig sticks are around 403, 404 millimeters, and the length of the Vic Firth stick is 415 millimeters, so over a centimeter longer than the originals. And, and this plays into uh, the balance of the stick, uh, as does the uh, different taper uh, of the stick. And to do a width comparison of the, uh, of the taper at its narrowest point, the, uh, the Ludwig stick is uh, 7.4 millimeters in diameter, and the, the Vic Firth is 8.2, so almost a millimeter uh, larger in diameter. The, uh, the bead as well, the tip, is, uh, is larger at around 8.2 or so for the Ludwig stick. And uh, 9.2, so uh, again a millimeter or so larger. Uh, so would generally we see a large, uh, uh, an increase in one millimeter in diameter. So how about weight? This has a major effect on uh, how the stick feels and plays. If we look at the Ludwig stick, uh, all the, the samples that I weighed were around uh, 46, 47, 48, uh, 50 grams. And if we look at the Vic Firth stick, it comes out to just over 60 grams. So pretty significant, uh, pretty significant weight increase there, about uh, 20 percent. Wanted to take a look at uh, where the taper starts on both of these sticks. The Ludwig taper starts so far back that it uh, really affects the balance of the stick uh, nicely. It starts at about 280 millimeters uh, from the end of the stick, which is about 69% of the total length of the stick. The Vic Firth, by contrast, starts at 320 millimeters uh, or 77% of the stick. So it's, the balance is uh, much farther forward on the, on the Vic Firth stick than it is on the Ludwig stick. Okay, so how do they bounce? Um, if we take the uh, we take the Ludwig stick, and I'm going to try to bounce these about the, uh, with about the same amount of force. It's uh, very quick, very responsive. Pick the other one, the Vic Firth stick. It's louder. It's not as responsive in my mind. Because So where does that leave us? It's not my intention to pass any judgments on the sticks. I like them both and have long been a fan of Vic Firth sticks. However, if you are looking for sticks that are exactly like the ones Buddy Rich played, you might want to hunt down a pair of vintage Ludwig 15As. And to the folks at Vic Firth, if you're watching, I would love it if you made a Buddy Rich light model more like these originals. They're fantastic sticks, very responsive, and I'm nursing my last few pairs. Thanks for watching.